Welcome, and thank you for attending the public meeting for the Harkers Island Bridge Replacements Project. The North Carolina Department of Transportation, NCDOT, understands that these bridges are the sole access to the island and are important to your community's quality of life, including travel needs, economy, history, connectivity, and recreation. This is the second public meeting for the Harkers Island Bridge Replacements Project. The purpose of our meeting is to introduce the NCDOT project team and their consulting firm, RSNH, who have been and will continue to assist in the planning and development of this project, provide an overview and update on the proposed Harkers Island Bridge Replacements Project, and provide an opportunity for you to offer comments and provide input on the selection of the preferred alternative to be built. Please be sure you have signed in at the welcome table and have picked up a handout. The handout includes detailed information about the project as well as a comment form. This is a looping presentation. It will take approximately 10 minutes. For your convenience, this presentation is also available on the project website as shown on the slide and in the handout. For those that are watching this video online, please refer to the documents posted on the website from public meeting number two for more information. After you have finished viewing this presentation, you will be able to view the project mapping at the tables and boards around the room. Project team members are available to discuss the proposed project and answer your questions. NCDOT proposes to replace the existing Harkers Island bridges bridge number 73 and number 96 on Harkers Island Road, SR 1332-1335 in Carteret County. Replacement of bridge number 73, also known as the Earl C. Davis Memorial Bridge, means removing the existing movable swing span bridge and replacement of bridge number 96 means the removal of the existing fixed span bridge. The purpose of this project is to improve the safety of each bridge by increasing the structural integrity of the bridges, maintain vehicular access between the island and the mainland, and accommodate access needs for residents and visitors, as well as emergency service vehicles and hurricane evacuation routes. Currently, this segment of Harkers Island Road carries approximately 3,300 vehicles per day. Within the study area, there are three community resources present that have the potential to be impacted by the project. Those resources are Harkers Island Beach Access, located on the island west of the existing bridge. Straits Fishing Pier, located on the center island east of the existing bridge. And Straits Boat Landing Access Area, located on the mainland west of the existing bridge. In accordance with the National Environmental Policy Act, which requires the federal government to consider environmental impacts in its decision-making process, we are also evaluating any natural environmental resources and protected species in the study area. These include wetlands, submerged aquatic vegetation, and endangered sea turtles. This project requires a permit to be issued by the United States Coast Guard, approving that the navigational clearance needs for the waterway are properly addressed by the new bridge. As part of this process, NCDOT submitted a draft navigational impact report to the United States Coast Guard. Included in the report is a summary of the vessel height surveys in 2014, interview data with local maritime community members, and waterway data obtained from the United States Army Corps of Engineers and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The data included in the report demonstrates that the proposed bridge alternatives with 45-foot vertical navigational clearance, VNC, 
and 125 to 150 foot horizontal navigational clearance HNC at bridge number 73 provide acceptable clearances for area marine travel for the replacement of the Harkers Island bridges. The navigational impact report will be finalized after the preferred alternative is selected. In order to maintain access to Harkers Island during construction using the existing bridges, new alignment alternatives are proposed for this project. Study alternatives were developed using roadway and bridge design guidelines, taking into account utility locations, impacts to community and natural environmental resources, as well as land acquisition and construction costs. Four alternatives were displayed at the first public meeting in March 2016. Alternative 1, Alternative 2, Alternative 3, and Alternative 4. Based on citizens' comments and coordination with reviewing agencies, the project team developed a fifth study alternative, Alternative 5. Since then, the project team has eliminated Alternative 1 from further study due to low public support, low agency support, and higher community and natural environmental resource impacts. The four remaining study alternatives Alternatives 2, 3, 4, and 5 are being presented today for your consideration. Alternative 2 includes two fixed span bridges, one located to the west of bridge number 73 and one located to the east of bridge number 96, touching down on the center island. A new pedestrian path to the Harkers Island beach access would be needed beneath the new bridge while the Straits Fishing Pier would be removed as a result of Alternative 2, a parking lot would be constructed on the center island providing overflow parking for the Harkers Island beach access and the Straits boat landing access area. Alternative 2 would have the highest impact to the beach access, the highest impact to wetlands, the lowest impact to submerged aquatic vegetation habitats and has the least expensive construction cost. Alternative 3 includes two fixed span bridges, each located to the east of the existing bridges touching down on the center island. The path to the Harkers Island beach access would be lengthened since the proposed roadway would be further to the east while the Straits Fishing Pier would be removed as a result of Alternative 3, a parking lot would be constructed on the center island providing overflow parking for the Harkers Island beach access and the Straits boat landing access area. Alternative 3 would have the second highest impact to wetlands and the second lowest impact to submerged aquatic vegetation habitats tied with Alternative 4 and has the second lowest construction cost. Alternative 4 includes one fixed span bridge located to the east of the existing bridges. Similar to Alternative 3, the path to the Harkers Island beach access would be lengthened since the proposed roadway would be further to the east. The Straits Fishing Pier would be removed as a result of Alternative 4, and the center island would no longer have a roadway connection. Alternative 4 would have the second lowest impact to wetlands and the second lowest impact to submerged aquatic vegetation habitats tied with Alternative 3 and has the second highest construction cost. Alternative 5 includes one fixed span bridge located to the east of the existing bridges. This alternative is similar to Alternative 4, but the alignment swings further east, completely bypassing the center island, allowing the Straits Fishing Pier to remain in place. Alternative 5 would have the lowest impact to wetlands and the highest impact to submerged aquatic vegetation habitats, and has the highest construction cost. Recently, Carteret County has expressed their support for Alternative 5 and their willingness to take over ownership of existing Bridge Number 96, 
from the mainland to the center fishing island, repurposing the bridge as pedestrian use only in order to provide pedestrian access to this important community resource. A table displaying the impacts of the four alternatives is included in your handout. Please review the details shown and ask questions as you review the mapping. Following this meeting, a preferred alternative will be selected based on public comments, resource impacts, environmental concerns, and sound engineering analysis. The Federal Highway Administration and NCDOT, in collaboration with federal and state environmental and permitting agencies, will make the final selection on the preferred alternative. The environmental document for the project will provide study findings, evaluations, and recommendations in compliance with the National Environmental Policy Act and is currently scheduled to be complete in Fall 2017. Right-of-way acquisitions are expected to begin in 2018 and construction is anticipated to start in 2020. During construction, the existing bridge will remain open to traffic with short-term lane closures as needed. We encourage you to review the mapping provided at this meeting, share your opinions with the NCDOT representatives, and fill out the comment forms provided. You may drop your comment form in the box provided tonight or mail or email it following the meeting. All comments are requested by March 30th. At any time following this public meeting, please feel free to reach out to the project team to ask questions and provide feedback. Project contact information is provided in the handout and also on the project website. Your input is an important part of the project development process. This PowerPoint presentation will be available on the project website. The North Carolina Department of Transportation thanks you for joining us today, and we look forward to receiving your questions and comments regarding the B4863 Harkers Island Bridge Replacements Project. This presentation will repeat in one minute.